Come on down to Goosebumps where we're discussing a special little episode of Goosebumps called Tales to Give You Goosebumps. It's Strain Peas. Ned, what's Strain Peas about? Strain Peas is a Goosebumps short where we are talking about peas and babies. Babies. Bob, shooting over to babies. Boo, babies. Who's got babies? Ned's got babies. I got babies for you. I got babies for you. I got babies Ned, for you. Ned, we got a picture of babies. You got a picture of Ned babies? We, we got, got Ned babies. We got fucking babies Ned. everywhere. Baby, 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 baby. Oh, gross. Today we are reading a short story from Tales to Give You Goosebumps, number one. It's called Strain Peas. And it is an interesting little story. And uh, by the way, if you're a little behind the scenes peek here, we read this back to back with How I Learned to Fly, which is the one Goosebumps book that is not a horror book. And this is like the one Goosebumps short that is... Straight up horror. Okay. <laughs> Strain Peas is about main character. I totally forgot their names too. Uh, I just read it like I read it like an hour before you got here and I was like uh, I read it last night, don't remember. I'm telling you Nick, your life is over. The minute your parents come through that door with the new baby, they're not even gonna know you're here. Meet Nicholas who is waiting on the stoop of his house for his parents to arrive with his newborn baby sister Hannah. Where does he live? Five points? Like, Where do you have stoops? anywhere you have th two stairs down from an entryway. I think it's more than two stairs, wouldn't you agree? This is not the way I thought this conversation would go. Into Stoop Semantics. Wow. By the way, Stoop Sem Semantics would be a great name for a band. Would it? What What kind of music would they play? Hip-hop. Hip-hop? <laughs> because of the stoops? Mom and Dad roll up. A porch with steps in front of a house or other building. Yeah, that's a stoop. Nick is waiting for his newborn sister to arrive with his parents. He is not excited. No, he's not excited at all. Well, his Christmas has just got halved. Can you blame him? And this baby arrives, and his mom and dad are cooing over little baby Hannah. And immediately, Nicholas is like, oh, my new sister has this evil tattoo, or not tattoo, birthmark on her cheek that Nicholas is convinced means she is evil. It's the mark of evil. Yeah, and... and Which is capitalized in the book. Every time. I will have you know. Nicholas's little sister Hannah is screaming her head off, vomiting on him. Comes uh, at him with scissors. Yeah, that was probably the funniest dirty, part. Dirty, yeah, she she crawls into the living room with scissors, and he's like, oh, she's attacking me. And his mom comes in and is like, how, how dare you let her have scissors? And it's like, what? Uh, the, the paint? She Yeah, the little sister like destroys the master bedroom with paint, and they blame Nicholas. Kay. So Nicholas is like, she is evil. Let's talk about the time lapse really quick, because now that I have a child, Based on the twist that we'll get to in a moment, she's crawling and grasping scissors. How fucking long has it been? It says several months right in there. Is I several months past. I don't know how babies work. I don't have one. Well, I know, so I do. So that's why I'm pointing this out. And Nicholas is convinced his sister is evil. He cannot wait to get rid of her. And then she's, finally, she's trying to be an only child. Yes. Yeah, he, she he's convinced yeah. she wants to be an only child. H Hannah is trying to off Nicholas. And then one day, the phone rings, and Mom answers. And it turns out there was a mix-up at the hospital, and they gave Mom and Dad the wrong baby. And <sighs> Hannah is not actually his sister. He's like, oh, this is great. I fucking knew it! She's a monster. We're getting rid of her. He told him he gave us the wrong baby. Now he wants to meet us down at the hospital. And they bring in this new this new girl. Uh, they do a rebate program, get that new baby in. Yep, they retro they retrofit her name. I think it's Gracie. warranted. Grace, yeah, warranted. Uh, uh, five years, fifty thousand miles. Okay. It's that baby warranty. Got the undercoating. Uh, you know that baby's tread is gonna wear through. <laughs> Where are we going with this? <laughs> I, I'm kind of waiting for something to go somewhere. Jason, finish your beer really quick. Jason, uh, finish your beer really quick. Hold on. Just finish your beer really quick. I can't, it's pump. <laughs> and Nicholas is like, oh, this baby seems normal. Looked her over, no, no ominous birthmarks. Blonde hair, blue eyes, Nazi poster child. Perfect. Bingo. And then he's like tickling her at night. He's like, oh, good night, good night. He's tickling her. And the baby goes, 
Uh, if you tickle me again, I'll rip your arm off. Wait, you see what happens when I can walk. Yeah. I'm Big Brother Nicholas. Put that baby talk and give me some food. None of that mushy junk. Ugh. Dark ending. Spooky dark ending. Dark ending. Dark ending. Dark ending. This is what I predict for this episode. There's an episode? Yeah. That's why we're doing this, because there was no episode for How to Learn to Fly. Learning to fly, but I ain't got wings. <laughs> I predict... She was an American girl. Let's, let's just go to the episode, all right? <laughs> and then you just cut to Tom Petty music videos. <laughs> This week on a very special episode of Blossom. Her braces. Bra yeah, Blossom gets braces. I'm only getting one little baby sister. A baby sister? That's the worst. She's all... It's true. Baby sisters are the worst. Doesn't she ever sleep? I guess I'll use mom's tampons and he sticks them in his ears. <laughs> I just want my stupid baby sister to just go away. You just wish they'd never brought her home. And this is how fucking JonBenet Ramsey happened. <laughs> Oh, nee. oh. She's trying to spell out her link to her OnlyFans. I wish. <laughs> sure, you're not seeing things. I can read, Sam. Can you? Hmm. Did you see the goosebumps, G on the block? Uh, no. You didn't see that? No, uh -huh. I missed it. Oh, slipped on the period blood. That was mom's placenta. She brought it home for later. Oh, oh no. <laughs> is she watching drag racing? I know. I was like, cool. They're fucking funny cars on drag racing. What are you doing? Now is an I... American car with exactly what you've been looking for. Was that the... I'm pretty sure was that fucking Taurus footage? I think it was. <laughs> This is not up for debate, young man. Well, this is Mom's Dr. Hospital. Uh, we got the wrong baby. <laughs> ah, Dr. Hospital. You were right, son. Sorry we doubted you. It's okay. So who's got our baby? Prince. All right, that was the episode. This was an interesting book back to back with How I Learned to Fly because they're both based in like like 90% of this book is just a baby being a baby and the main character being upset, which I loved. He's like, she's out to get me, but like really she's just being a baby. She's throwing up, she's, uh... <laughs> okay, Daria. <laughs> just French him. kiss me. <laughs> she didn't even go for the pizza. I thought she'd go for that. Anyway, Just sweet, sweet pizza breath. <laughs> where this, this short story falls on its face is when R.L. Stein is obligated to put in a twist ending, which is that the baby gets switched out and the actual switched out baby is in fact a monster. So I They were both monsters, I think. No, the first one was just a baby. No, I don't think so. Anyway, I give this a... Uh, the first one talked to him. Yeah. I think they were both no, monsters. No, she didn't. The second one talked to him. The first one did not talk to him at all. The first she one was a baby. She came at him with scissors, though. As a baby. Listen, bro. How did she get the scissors? I don't fuck. Cause how did she paint the room? Negligent parents. Anyway, I give this. Out how of did business. she paint the room? I give this short story an eight out of ten. An eight out of ten. Well, Bob. Oh, I gotta keep going. Fucking second. Jesus. You're number two in the line. You're an eternal number two. Oh, I'm gonna give you an eternal <laughs> number two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> That's Three. it. Three. That's right. <laughs> These aren't good. Ned? 5.274. And it, I had to bring it up from a 5.273 only because I really liked 
that stupid twist ending. So I really it gave so it stupid. a thousandth of a percent. But you gave it an eight. No, the ending was stupid. <laughs> it was so close to a perfect ten, and the ending. It was so good. close. So close. So close. All Gerber baby foods are perfectly prepared for your baby's nutritional needs without added salt, artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Those are the facts, pure and simple. Gerber. Anyway, this has been the Tales to Give You Goosebumps, Strain Peas. Thank you. Join us next week. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Y'all come back now, you hear?